All right, we're um, going to be drinking the world's greatest beer, according to most people in the Midwest. Um, it's made in Pottsville, Pottsville Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Uh, I think they also have a brewery in Florida somewhere, Jacksonville, yeah. something like that. But the logo is eerily familiar. Yeah. And they get away with it, or I should probably even say that, depending on your point of view, because it says since 1829, and the other brewery that kind of sort of has this logo is more like 1880s, I think. So. Is it 1889? Or? This one is 1829. Okay. Your eyes are way better than mine, so I shouldn't but, question you. Yeah, so the big bad brewery that sold out to the bigger badder brewery has had trademark infringement battles and everything against poor little Yingling. <laughs> and Yingling has used that to their benefit amazingly marketing-wise to get everybody to jump on and drink their beer. But let's see if it's worth it. Yeah, I, I can tell you the first time I ever had this beer was in Florida. And I got it because everybody's told me that this was the greatest beer on the face of the earth. I brought it to the beach with me. And I'll save the rest of the story after we do the review. Correct. So this is a amber beer. I'm assuming amber lagers. So uh, there's no born on date. Some timestamps on the bottom. I don't see an ABV. On here, do you? No, I don't. So, Let's see if we can find some info while we're smelling this one. Kind of smells like your typical adjunct lager. Yeah, it does. How many times have we said that in the last year? It's a nice, pretty amber color. It's got a nice foamy head. Yeah, it but does have a nice foamy head. The smell on this one is is lacking. Um, Fast, small bubbles for carbonation. For speed, the bubbles make it faster. All right, we just ate some Parmesan pepper chips. Yeah, they're skewing my taste a little bit. Yeah, so I figured you didn't drink out of these yet, did you? Uh, no. So maybe a quick rinse probably would be ideal. Okay. Untapped says this is 4.5 ABV and 16 IBUs. It is famous for its rich amber color and medium bodied <laughs> flavor with roasted caramel malt. I shouldn't read this till we do our review. Yeah, let's let's taste it first. Let's skew everything. Hmm, I get a lot of roasted caramel malt. Really? <laughs> I'm amazed by the famous amber color on this one. It does have a nice lingering frothy head though, for sure. Yeah, it's a pretty beer. It's a good looking beer. You got lots of carbonation going in there. It keeps the head going. To walk alone. I do get malts. Yeah. I think the color of the can is making me think it's more amber than it is. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing when I was it's looking at it. faking me out. It doesn't have that typical amber mm. ale or amber lager no. taste. It does finish dry. Yeah. It is, it is malt. Um, not heavy. It's a little creamy, a little caramel, not very sweet, but pretty dry. All right, 
like. To be fair, it's probably better than the first time I had it. Let's finish that story. First time I had it was at the beach. Like an idiot, I bought bottles. So obviously you're not supposed to bring bottles on the beach. Um, being from the Midwest, I just really wasn't thinking. So I found a guy who had a red Solo cup that I borrowed. And I drank this out of a red Solo cup. So... Who knows that red solo cup could have been used? It tastes, not it tasted a little gritty and a little salty <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. That explains a lot. But uh, did you say you <laughs> borrowed a red solo? I borrowed cup? Borrowed it. I seen him pull it out of the the, <laughs> the package, so it, it it may have contained a little bit of sand, but it okay. did not contain any salt. Right. So it might have been a little gritty than your normal. Yingling. <laughs> However, this is still not the best beer on the face of the earth. No. No. This is, if if this was the go-to 12-pack on every corner gas station, I would be happy with it. It's For that, it's awesome. But, from the Midwest, having to import it from yeah <laughs> other states uh it's not worth the trouble no so. no definitely not at all i think the this is just going by memory we'd have to drive to i think the very southern tip of missouri gets us yeah. for sure the northern part of arkansas memphis i saw this in memphis when i went to a my daughter's soccer tournament Walked right on past it. Got home and, a, excuse me, a guy on the team asked if I had bought any and brought it home because everybody does that. It's the greatest beer on the face of the earth. And then I passed on it. I did bring home some Rockdale Light, though, from the Walmart in yeah. Memphis. <laughs> Not realizing you can get, also get that at the Walmart here. I had no idea. I thought, wow, this is really cool. But... Anyway. Side note, I actually like Rockdale. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had Rockdale Light, but. So, this is a good beer. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good beer for a, an adjunct. It's a, a weak example of an amber, I think. Yeah, I agree. But it's a, it's a good color. It's a nice beer. It's, it's just not worth the hype i guess no it really it's definitely not worth the hype i will say though this would be a good good comparison um i think i did a review on a aldi amber ale just the other oh. day yeah. i have one in the refrigerator we should compare the two because i think that's maybe a little duller a little more it's not as great of a taste um but it's not much different than this really i mean this yeah. is just your average amber lager you know? right so their description that i'm pulling off was uh famous for its rich amber color and medium body flavor with roasted caramel malt for a subtle sweetness and combination of cluster and cascade hops I'm really not getting much hops at all i mean obviously they're in the brew, but a true original delivers a well-balanced taste with very distinct character born from a historic recipe that was resurrected in 1987. A true classic. So my question... <laughs> that makes us be... Cl that we're classic. Though. We're classics. All right. I wasn't resurrected. <laughs> I mean, I was still hanging around there. But was this not in production... For 200 years? Does that mean it was the original brew and then they resurrected it after the fact? If so, I think that big giant brewery may have a case. Yeah. But if it was in production that whole time, then, you know, cheers to them. That's awesome. That's an awesome feat, a 200-year-old brewery. But um, if somebody found a recipe in their grandma's basement and said... Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Politics aside, the beer is a good beer, but it's 
It's just a good beer. It's it's average to me. Um, out of five, I would go three and a half. As you hold it up, so <laughs> we're skewed. Yeah, three and a half. Um, so, well, at least we're right on again. Yeah, I was thinking if three's average, this one beats out average. It's it's I'm happy with it. I like I like a caramel multi flavor. It's it's weak from that end, but yeah, you know, it's a it's a lager, so you wouldn't expect it to be super thick. Very true. Very good point. You know, you, you look at it, you kind of think maybe the can and see the amber on there, you're thinking it's an ale. Yep. But. And actually, that's what I was going to compare it with. That other one was an ale. So, I mean, they're, but they taste very similar. I think this. It's just kind of a dull taste to me. But it's a good thing this song came on. It's going to hype up our review. Yeah. So. That's very true. So. From. If you like the Parmesan, I mean the. Uh, <laughs> Parmesan cheddar flavor of the. All right. I don't know. Three and a half, that's what I'm giving it. Matt's giving it a three and a half. Yep. Um, if you could get this in the St. Louis area, would you buy it regularly, or would you just be like, eh? Yeah, if it was the same price as everything else, I'd, I'd throw it in the mix, and it'd be fine. Okay. If it if it was uh, microbrew pricing, no, it's, it's definitely not worth that. And so. I don't know what the pricing was on this. Again, a, a buddy of mine brought this home from Indianapolis. I don't know what he paid for. Yeah. He bought a twelve pack. Uh, no, but I typically just pass on by because I think the hype's all craziness, and everybody from St. Louis thinks it's the greatest beer. But it's average to me. I, would I drink it regularly? Mm, I mean, I would drink it occasionally, yeah. but I would probably not drink it from a bottle poured into a borrowed red solo cup on oh. the beach. That's just me. So you're judging them. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do in pressure moments. So, yeah. you know. All right. This one's going past 12 All minutes. Right. So. Yingling, traditional lager. A three and a half from beer, barbecue, baseball. And if you like this beer, leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button if you want. If you are from Pennsylvania and are offended by everything we said, go ahead and leave us a comment, too. Yeah. And hit the like button and subscribe. So, we'll That'll talk to you all later. That'll stick it to us. What's that? That'll stick it to us oh, yeah. if they do that. Yeah, definitely stick it to us. Yeah. We like that. <laughs> we'll talk to you later.